What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm super excited to give you guys my review of the Ronnie Fogg A6 collaboration on this Gel Light 3 in this super orange colorway. Today's video is sponsored by Hefalux. When it comes to sneakers, comfort is king. So when you buy a pair of shoes and find out they're uncomfortable, one of the easiest fixes is to swap out the insoles. So that's where Hefalux comes into play. If you check out their website, which I'll link down below in the description box, you'll see they sell a variety of ETPU insoles, which really is the same material you'll find inside Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside of your shoes, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase, and be sure to tell them I sent you. So this right here is a highly anticipated collaboration between Ronnie Feig and ASICS, which coincides with the grand opening of the second Miami and Los Angeles stores. So this pair, which is nicknamed the Super Orange Colorway, released earlier this month, and it was also sold in-store at Kith's brand new Beverly Hills location. So these retailed for a price of $195 US dollars, but after shipping, duties, and all that stuff, shipping them here to Canada, they ended up costing me about $400 Canadian dollars, which is super, super expensive. Anyways, so that's besides the point, lesson learned. The official colorway for this shoe is Pumice Stone and Orange Tiger. And officially, on the box at least, this shoe is named the Gel Light 3 07 or 2007 Remastered. And the reason for that is because Ronnie Flag and Asics worked together to alter the look of the Gel Light 3 to bring it back to the exact specifications of how the Gel Light 3 looked back in 2007. So that year is significant because that was the first year that Ronnie Feig and ASICS first collaborated together. I guess it's natural that over the years and over time, brands will sort of alter the silhouette. So a lot of the Gel Light 3s you see on the market today don't have that same look that they looked back in 2007. So everything from adjusting the height of the shoe to the angles of certain components and the height of the mud guard, for example, all those things were recrafted. And I have to say in hand, this shoe looks really, really good. And why the shoe is nicknamed the Super Orange Colorway is actually because in the past, Ronnie and ASICS have released colorways in that similar fashion. For example, the Super Red, the Super Blue, and Super Green. And what that more or less represents is a more muted base with one loud splash of color. So in this case, orange is that splash of color. And the two are also releasing a Super Yellow colorway as well, which will coincide with Kith opening their second store in Miami. So with all that being said now, let's dive into the details of this shoe. So starting things off with the toe box, you can see this is covered in this light gray colored nubuck, and this nubuck is completely perforated. Overlaid on the front toe cap, we have more of a darker tan colored nubuck, and on the lateral side, we have these two windows, revealing this reflective silver 3M layer underneath. And I wanted to point out that the toe box shape looks really, really good. It has a nice gradual slope to it, and it tapers off looking so, so good in real life. Moving downwards, covering the eyelets of the shoe, we have more of that light gray colored nubuck, and then the middle two eyelets are done in a darker gray TPU. Beneath this on the mid panel, we have more of that perforated nubuck, and then overlaid on top of this, we have the signature A6 stripes, which is done in this vibrant orange colored synthetic leather with a backing of reflective silver 3M underneath. And then in between this in the middle, we have this rubberized netting, which is done in a tonal gray colored finish. Beneath this, we have more of that darker tan colored nubuck, and the same nubuck wraps around the bottom of the heel as well. And then debossed on the lateral side only, we have Gel Light 3 branding. Above this, in the middle of the heel, we have another layer of reflective 3M, along with the word gel done in orange, and this netting overlaid on top of it. And then the top of the heel is covered in that light gray nubuck, and we have ASICS branding pressed on in orange as well. As far as the laces go, so these come with three different lace options. The standard or default lace is a flat style lace in this light gray or light tan color, but they also give you a secondary rope style lace along with a third white colored flat lace as well. For me, when I think of Ronnie Feig and A6 collaborations, my mind automatically goes to rope laces, so that's what I'm probably gonna stick with with this release. Underneath the laces, of course, being a Gel Light 3, we have that signature split tongue, and it's covered in this nylon-like material on top. Embroidered on the lateral side, we have Feig, which is done in this tonal finish. And then as far as the interior of the shoe goes, compared to recent Gel Light 3s, I found that the inner liner of the shoe is a bit beefier. Taking out the insoles, so these come with a thin foam insole, it's covered in this tonal light gray colored finish on top, and we have ASICS and Kith branding stamped on the heel in orange. And if you take out the insole, this was kind of interesting. I don't know if recent Gel Light 3s are done in the same way, but for this particular release, you can see that it's actually board lasted. 
So the upper of the Gel Light 3 sits atop this full length EVA foam midsole, which is painted in white on the forefoot and the back of the heel, but done in more of a cream color in the middle. We have ASICS branding found on the lateral side, and above this on the heel, we have a TPU heel counter, which helps to give you additional structure and support for the back end of this shoe. And in case within the sneaker but not visible to the eye, of course, this being a Gel Light 3, there is gel technology which helps with impact protection and shock absorption. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole here is done in rubber in a combination of this light gray color and orange in the middle. And you can see right in the center, we have ASICS branding. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, so my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. And in years past, and I'm talking maybe 10 years back, I always found that the Gel Light 3 fit a little bit snug. So I used to prefer going up a half size to a size 10 and a half. Nowadays though, I feel like Gel Light 3s fit a lot more true to size. So I can go with a size 10, no problem. So for this specific pair, I didn't know any better. I had suspicions that they would fit a lot more like older Gel Light 3s, but I just wasn't 100% sure and I didn't want to risk it. So I got these in a size 10, which is my true size. And I have to say the overall length of the shoe was perfect. There was about a finger's width between the edge of the shoe and the top of my toe, which is great. But if anything, the width of the shoe, specifically this area right here, this is where the shoe ran a little bit snug. So it wasn't snug enough that I found it unwearable. It's definitely still a shoe that I can wear true to size, but I feel like if you like more of a roomy toe box, or if you have really wide feet, then you should definitely go up a half size. I also found sticking true to size, it was a little bit difficult to close up the tongue. So because it was so snug in there, unless I really laced it up tightly, it would expose a little bit of a gap in between the tongue. So that's another thing to keep in mind if you decide to stick true to size. But again, like I said, if you don't mind more that snug one-to-one -one fit, and especially if you have more of a narrow foot, then true to size should be okay for you too. Moving on to the comfort, so this shoe feels excellent on foot. I'm pretty sure that the height of the midsole has been increased compared to recent Gel Light 3s, which means there's going to be more EVA foam underfoot. And with that gel technology, it's still going to give you softness and squishiness, and that gel will give you responsiveness so that it's not going to be an overly soft and mushy cushioning setup. So the Gel Light 3 is definitely one of those models that I would recommend for an everyday casual use shoe, and to me, it's just a model I find to be extremely comfortable. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship. So first off, material quality, I thought it was excellent. The new books used on this shoe have a very soft, very buttery feel to the touch. And you can tell that it's not a synthetic and cheap material used on this pair. And while the ASIC stripes on the side were synthetic leather, the overall feel of the shoe really does feel a bit more premium than general release Gel Light 3s on the market today. However, from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, this is where the shoe was a little bit disappointing. People on Instagram have forwarded me the pictures of their pairs, and I've seen a lot of flaws. Specifically, their toe boxes were all mangled up. There was a lot of glue stains connecting where the midsole and the upper of the shoe meet, and a lot of dried glue as well throughout the entire shoe. And another person that sent me a picture showed me how the left foot and the right foot, the mudguard heights were very inconsistent. So that's pretty disappointing to see, considering this is supposed to be a remastered Gel Light 3. Luckily for me, my pair wasn't that bad at all. It did have some dried glue on the upper and there were a little bit of glue stains on this midsole area, but the overall shape of the shoe was great. The panels on my pair were cut consistently. So hopefully for those who bought these online, your pair wasn't as bad as some that I've seen. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look. Overall, I'm really stoked to see this 07 build of the Gel Light 3 return. And while this is obviously not the flashiest collaboration, it's a shoe that a lot of pure ASICS fans or Kith fans would truly appreciate. It has a good mix of being muted enough that you can rock these with a lot of different outfits, but the orange is really bright and vibrant, which gives it that splash of color that I think it really needs. And personally for me, I think this is a great addition to my collection, and I'm looking forward to adding the super yellow pair to my collection as well. 
So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Ronnie Fog and Asics Gel Light 3 in the super orange color. What are your overall thoughts on the execution and the colorway for this shoe? And for anyone watching, did you buy a pair of these? Did you take an L and pay resale for these? Or did you just pass on them all together? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for your continued love and support, and I'll catch you guys all in my next video.